Hello there and welcome so much back to my channel. So today we have a smallish kind of eBay haul and I just thought to kind of spice things up a little bit. I would try on a few of the lip products at the end of the video. So it's kind of like a haul plus a try on. Who is she these days? She's hauling and she's trying stuff on. I mean really, this is just multitasking right in front of your eyes. Well not really because I'm just hauling and then trying things on but let's just pretend she's multitasking. Let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing that I got was by uh, Maybelline. This is the Master Precise Liquid Eyeliner and it's actually in uh, the shade Forest Brown because I am terrible at applying a black eyeliner so like in my little makeup junkie mind I just kind of thought well maybe if I try like a brown, a forest brown maybe when I feck it up it won't look quite so intensely bad you know this is just my thought process um I do buy a lot of Maybelline products from eBay because I do find that they're a bit cheaper uh, just like by a couple of pounds but I still think that it's kind of worth it for me so yeah so I've got this uh, bad boy situation out and I will be trying it out soon so the next product I got was not by NYX I don't think I feel like this is going to be a fake because I have bought some fake NYX uh, liquid suede in the past thinking that they were real and they turned out to be fecking fake so I don't think that this is real but it's one of the lip lingeries and it's in the shade Teddy I absolutely love the shades from the lingerie lip range and that the formula is quite drying but I absolutely just adore the shade corset it's like the perfect kind of concealer lips nude I like super concealer lips but a bit you know like a bit it makes your lips disappear into your face a little bit but I kind of love that look living for it so anyway I will uh, give this one a go soon maybe even at the end of this video if I don't take too long going through the other ones I mean, I don't want the video to be, you know, an epic, you know, like Lord of the Rings third instalment and everyone's just falling asleep by the end because they're dying of starvation because the film has been too fecking long. They bankrupted themselves buying popcorn because why does popcorn have to be so expensive in the cinema? I'm the kind of cinema goer, or I was, I've not been to the cinema in ages, but when I did used to go to the cinema before I had kids, I would always just bring my own stuff in like who's buying the cinema food and just literally being robbed right in front of their eyes like they're literally handing over their money it's like going up to like a robber in the street and going hey dude have my money it's fine take it it's fine i don't know but anyway so i also picked up this uh lip liner it's called the moisture moisture renew universal transparent lip liner this is by rimmel and i bought this because one of my subscribers I suggested it in one of my videos where I think I was testing something out and I didn't have the right lip liner to go with the lip products and she said well just buy the universal one from Rimmel and then you'll never have that problem again. I don't really understand quite how this works because it literally is like it's kind of like a white shade but it doesn't really leave any trace of itself. Look if I swatch it it's just transparent and I'm thinking well for me I like lip liners because they give me like you know a guide as to where I want to fill in my lips with the lip product so I'm not quite sure exactly how this will work but as I said one of my subscribers recommended it to me so I'm gonna go for it I'm sure it's brilliant I will let you know how it goes by the way I know my space buns they're not sisters they're not twins they're not even distant cousins at this point they're kind of sisters from another planet really I mean I know they're so messy uh, they started off looking okay well actually they didn't they never looked okay I'm just fooling myself into thinking that but anyway okay so next we have the three lip products that I was thinking I was going to try on in this video they are fake lime crime velveteens I actually feel like the genuine velveteen formula is one of the most comfortable out there I often just kind of forget I've got it on my lips and I know it really annoys me when people describe a liquid lipstick formula like that when they say oh my gosh I just forget it's on my lips and you, you're just sat there thinking no bitch no 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 you didn't you know it's there it's drying your lips and it does cause a little bit of drying but honestly out of all the liquid lip products I've tried other than Jeffree Star the lime crime ones definitely are the comfiest so anyway I picked up three shades of these fakes I got thistle um, mercury and trouble and this oh oh 
of these just look like my kind of shades. They look very interesting. They're the kind of shades that I wouldn't necessarily want to spend like £15 on, but I'm happy to spend £2 on, if you know what I mean. And I think this is where fakes really come into their own because you don't have to spend much money and you can get to try out like lots of different colours. Whether or not they're actually, you know, close to the genuine colour or not is kind of beside the point for me. I just enjoy testing all of the makeup out all of it and if it's cost two pounds sign me up i mean really so we're going to be trying these bad boys on in a minute and i may even test out the lip liner as well with it so just the final two things i've got and i don't know why i got these like what was going on in my head when i got these i was thinking i was some kind of diy queen who had too much time on her hands uh look so basically this is nightmare before christmas like, I was going to say bunting, but it's not bunting. It's just fabric. Like, I don't know where do you put this around your thong, uh, around your guy's cock. I mean, I have no idea why I even bought this. It was just, it, obviously, in a very unrealistic moment, probably late night, there's peace and quiet in the house, and I'm thinking, I'm when buy some of this, you could customise your thong. I mean, that's what I was thinking, but obviously that's not happening. But, of course, I didn't just stop at one. Oh, no, no. In my mind, I was like the DIY queen. I got another one. Another one. Look at this. I actually really, really like this. I was thinking, like, could I just put it, like, I'll show you what I was thinking. You tell me what you think. By the way, by the way, this is never going to happen. This is just, like, in my mind where I think I have more time than I have because I don't have any time whatsoever. But I was kind of thinking, like, could I put it there? I think that would look so cool, but I also feel like... You know, I'm not 15 anymore, but... But, I mean, not being 15 anymore doesn't usually stop me from, you know, buying things. My little uh, berries, my little cute spray bottle, my owl money box, but I've never put any money in this because that would be animal cruelty to pop something in his head. I just love looking at it. My unicorn lip balm, of course. I mean, so... You know, I know I'm not 15 anymore, but I just love all of the cute stuff. So if I want to customise my shelf with The Nightmare Before Christmas, then I will do it. She won't do it because she does not have the time to do it, but... Have you ever seen those belly dancers, you know, with their hips like snake hips? How do they do it? Like, I don't mean this to sound horrible, and I know it's possibly going to come off as sounding horrible, but my mum got into belly dancing in her early 60s. And, I, you know, me being the good, supportive daughter that I am, I used to go watch her belly dancing shows. It was like watching some kind of mature porn. I know, I know you're thinking, I'm when you're being so offensive right now, but it was like watching porn because when people belly dance, they, like, make these eyes at you. They go like this... Okay, like that. And I'm sat right at the front because I'm a very supportive, encouraging kind of daughter like that. So I'm at the front, you know. And there's this woman like this. And I'm just like, oh my gosh, I'm dying right now. Like, literally. But anyway, no offence, by the way. If you do belly dancing, go you. I think it's fabulous. And I wish I could have snake hips and move them all around. I mean, Honey's wishes that too, I'm sure. But anyway, we're going to move straight on to testing out the... It's fake velveteen liquid lipsticks. I am going to begin with the shade um, Thistle. So we're going to go with Thistle first, which is like this beautiful, it's like, is it a pewter? I have no idea what pewter is. Or like powder blue. I don't know. Um, I'm also going to go in with the lip liner. Uh, just to see, like, what does it actually do? I don't know. Okay, so I've just got rid of my little bit of a lip balm that I had on. By the way, this is the lip balm by Primark. It's called the Coco Loco Tinted Lip Balm. Oh my gosh, it's amazing. And it costs like £2 maybe. So anyway. Okay, so we're going to go in with the lip liner first. Like it's really strange because look, you can't actually see it doing anything. Like what does it do? I don't get it. Like I'm putting it on but I feel like... Like, why? Like, why am I doing this? Because I can't see anything. Okay, so I've applied the lip liner, although I'm not quite sure, like, what, what it's going to do. But we're just going to go in with this all. If I just rip, I can't rip it open. I mean, really. So if I just open it up, and this is what it looks like. 
oh my golly gosh gum drops and if i just compare it with one of my genuine lime crime liquid lipsticks you can see it looks very very similar but the difference is because i opened this when alex was there and i was just kind of messing about with it and it's the lid like you can definitely tell this is just dirt cheap packaging like if you look at my genuine one it's just got it just is a little bit more quality i can't describe it but when you close it it feels tight but this one is just flimsy as hell can you see it just keeps spinning look at that it's just spinning like there's no tomorrow he thinks it's some kind of lap dancing queen just on the main stage it's just spinning 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 you know just like knocking everyone out with its thong and underwired bra but anyway yeah so the packaging although at first glance they do look very similar there are lots of obvious differences like you know also the fake one has like a different shade of like flower the lid is slightly more red i mean these are just minor things but you know if you're a makeup junkie you will spot these things okay, so that's the little comparison over so i'm just going to give this bad boy a shake and we're gonna see you can't even shake it look look as i'm shaking it it's going to just fucking fly off to space so i'm not going to shake it okay let's do this oh oh my god oh what is this oh my gosh like i'm dipping in can you see as well it looks like there's nothing in there so if i just like wiggle my brush around oh my gosh guys what the heck is this what the f what in fucking god awful name what is that i don't really want to carry on but i will this is like the most matte finish i've ever experienced ever like nothing can you see nothing is coming on the brush uh, i'm just gonna wiggle it about a bit but i actually don't think there's anything in there because look you can kind of clearly see it's not like completely full up oh my gosh and it just feels like nothing going on this is absolute bollocks i'm not even gonna bother i ain't got time for it right it's coming off okay so next we're gonna go in with the shade mercury this looks like it might not be matte and it might be more of a, like you know like a metallic -y shade because i can definitely see like glitters in there this looks really really pretty so i'm just hoping it's gonna be better than that last one which was awful okay so this is definitely more of like a lip topper I feel like i've been completely falsely advertised to with that uh, which looks beautiful but this yeah it's more like you know a little gloss topper situation okay i've seen enough of that i'm not not doing any more because i've got the measure of that so we're going to go in with uh, trouble and now which looks like the most beautiful grungy like gray brown kind of shade okay so guys this is what it looks like it kind of looks like something that might come out of an ill dog i mean really so if i just i'm a bit bit apprehensive do you know what out of the three though this formula is actually easy to apply what do you think guys i don't know what i think it's a pretty disgusting shade in my opinion and i'm very open-minded you know about like out there shades but this is a little bit really out there okay so i know it's a pretty awful application and um, i'm not kind of hating it i know that a lot of people probably aren't gonna like this shade and i truly didn't think i was gonna like it but i mean it looks super patchy let me just double check yeah okay so, oh my gosh i've just realized that i've got blue all around my lip i mean really um yeah it does look like quite patchy as you can see but i'm kind of liking the shade i think it really complements my pink hair and it complements the kind of glamorous like sparkly eye look and it just kind of makes it look grungy it's like we've got glamour going on up here and then we've got like grungy crackhead going on down here and i'm kind of living for that little uh situation so i'm just gonna apply a little bit more because i want to see if i can get this to be opaque it still looks patchy doesn't it what? why is it patchy just there that's doing my head in i just apply a little bit more downstairs it's kind of like you know camo army green i'm not hating this guys and it's kind of making my teeth look white as well 
I mean, I like it. Although it's super, super patchy still just in this area. Maybe if I just kind of pat it on a little bit. Okay, so I've just kind of patted over the bits that were uh, not particularly opaque. Do you know what, right? I know a lot of you guys probably won't like this. I know it's not for everybody. And even as I was applying it, like I didn't like it. But now that it's on there, I'm actually really, really liking it. Um, I think it's looking pretty, pre pretty good. I love it with the hair. I just, yes, yes. Okay, so I totally just went away and took like a million selfies because I really do like this. And also it doesn't actually feel that drying. Um, it's definitely going more greeny, I feel, as it's kind of drying. But I mean, I, for one, I really, really love it. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this haul. Please let me know downstairs if um, you enjoyed this type of video, which is like a smaller haul, but then me actually trying out some of the products you know within the haul let me know if you would like me to do more of these kinds of videos because i actually had a lot of fun doing it today but let's face it i have a lot of fun doing any kind of video just sit me on this stool and i'm a happy woman i hope you're having a fabulous day thank you so much for taking time out of it to come and spend with me just fecking about with some lip products but i really appreciate it and i will i will what i'll be back soon with more